Hello, this is Mantra from Video Gamers, and this is the Stray Demon fight, a fight that takes place back in the Undead Asylum in which the game first started. However, now when you return, there's a few new additions to the monsters, and, uh, well, there's that boss that you can see at the very beginning, and now you actually get to fight him. Um, as you can see, one of the attacks to watch out for, pretty much the only attack to watch out for, really, is uh, that ranged sort of force blast attack that he has. That's really the most dangerous attack in the Stray Demon's arsenal. It's the only one that I really had trouble with uh, handling, actually. All of his other attacks, as you can see, are incredibly predictable and really just give you free chances to hit him. So, he has a decent life pool and won't go down quickly. Uh, that attack will continue to frustrate you throughout the fight, but as long as you stay somewhat to his side, you can usually roll around him and avoid it. As long as you're behind his body and a little bit back, you shouldn't really take any damage from him. This attack he's doing right now is when he stabs the scythe in the ground and then has a big old blast emanating from that, and that's incredibly easy to dodge because you can see it coming from a mile away. Um, and so then he'll do the butt slam attack, which really isn't a threat to anyone unless you're stuck in the corner or something. And uh, that's really just your key to back out and uh, then rush in and charge him and hit him with um, your two-handed weapon strike. So the key here is to keep circling to his right or his left, preferably his right, I think, and uh, then to avoid that ranged force blast attack where he sticks his hand out. Uh, you'll see that, and that's really the one where you want to flip behind him. And aside from that, just keep a, you know, a safe distance from him because you never know what he's going to pull and you don't really want to you know, leave yourself vulnerable to one of his other attacks that you normally wouldn't get hit by. Uh, the environment you know, is fairly open, so you don't really have to worry about getting cornered very much here. And uh, yeah, as long as you keep rushing in like I'm doing here, you'll notice that he does a fairly limited move set. And... Um, if you keep him in that sort of range, he's not going to bother much with his uh, ranged normal melee strikes, which can actually be quite damaging or far more deadly than the butt slam or most of the explosions, really. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, you see, you can also roll under his body or flip, as, as, as in this case, but I wouldn't recommend trying to pull that off regularly. At least I haven't tried to do so yet, but I'm, I'm sure it's possible, and it's quite possible if you figure it out properly. And uh, that would be a convenient way of um, avoiding the ranged blast attack. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much this fight in a nutshell. There's not much more to this boss. Um, you fight a variation of, of this boss three times throughout the game, actually. One in the lava slash fire zone, one here, or actually two here in the Undead Asylum, because there's a tutorial boss, and then there's this boss that is located in the room directly beneath the tutorial boss. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to add here. And uh, there you go. That's the boss fight. Good luck.